There's an old joke about drama. A comedy ends with a wedding, and a tragedy begins with one. Let's discuss what this means. So, a comedy ends with a wedding, and a tragedy begins with one. Now obviously this isn't true of all comedies or tragedies. In fact, it isn't even true of most of them. But it does point to a truth about both genres, and to the structure of storytelling in general. Let's consider what a wedding is, both in story and, ideally, in real life. Traditionally speaking, a wedding is a union between two people that is supposed to usher in an everlasting stability or order, not only for those two people, but for the community which surrounds them. When two people marry, the idea is that they will stay together until death does them part, and that whatever else may happen to them, they will always have that bond to rely on and the community at large may also rely on it as well, for a wedding allows the community to consider these two people as a single unit, while at the same time granting them the right to move on to the next stage in life, which is to have children, or to put it in communal terms, to give rise to the next generation, which thus creates that next level of stability for the community. Now, what does all this mean for storytelling? Well, in any given story, the goal of the hero whether he chooses it freely or has it thrust upon him, is to create some kind of order. Of course, that order need not be gained by a wedding. It can be gained by returning a bunch of rings to a hole on top of a mountain, or killing off a bunch of vampires who are trying to suck out everyone's blood. The point is, at the end of the story, if the hero has achieved his goal, then he and the world in which he lives will have achieved an order that we are convinced will remain stable for years to come. And that's exactly what we're looking for in a comedy. If we come to the end of a comedic work and everything is still in chaos, then part of us will feel a bit cheated. A brilliant example of this is the film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Here's a film that's hilarious, ingeniously structured, and just downright fun to watch. And yet when we get to the end, what we really want is for King Arthur to defeat the Frenchies. But instead, we get modern day cops arresting him and his knights. What we wanted was stability, a return to order, and instead everything is still up in the air. Ultimately, this is not a comedy, but a metafiction which parodies the nature of comedy. On the other hand, we have Four Weddings and a Funeral, a film that would seem to undermine everything that I've been talking about. After all, that film begins with a wedding, which is how tragedies are supposed to begin. And yet, it has a happy ending. How does this happen? Well, it happens because the initial wedding is presented as chaos. In other words, the filmmakers weren't trying to undermine the nature of storytelling. Instead, they were calling into question what is and is not chaos. Thus, when we get to the ending and the two main characters espouse a desire to be together without ever getting married, we are convinced that they have achieved a new kind of order, which is exactly how comedies are supposed to end. And then we have tragedy. In tragedy, the goal is the same. The hero hopes to achieve some kind of order. But to do this, he generally has to disrupt an order that already exists, an order which he apparently doesn't find satisfactory. The best example for our purposes is obviously Hamlet. In Hamlet, a wedding quite literally takes place shortly before the play begins, and this wedding creates order in Denmark. But it isn't an order that Hamlet, and presumably the universe, feels too good about. And so Hamlet sets off to investigate the nature of this order, and in so doing, undermines the already existing order, and ultimately destroys it. So, if we look at these two genres side by side, we see how they essentially travel in opposite directions. Comedies generally move from chaos to order. They may begin with some kind of order, but it's generally disrupted very early on, and as a result, the rest of the story is about a hero trying to restore order. Tragedy, on the other hand, moves from order to chaos, which is very much like a marriage coming undone, hence the old joke. There's another old joke, equally playful, that says that a joke is always better when it has to be explained. In other words, I may have just ruined the old joke about storytelling for you, though I hope in return I've provided you with some valuable information about how to think about storytelling. Feel free to add your own thoughts on the matter in the comments section below. And if you're getting married soon, well, you've been warned.